four Democratic candidates on one stage tonight, making their pitch to the Latino community ahead of the Nevada caucus. Good evening to you. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Feldez. This presidential town hall was held at the College of Southern Nevada tonight. Eight News Now reporter Shaquille Alvarengo was there and shares their messages. Well, Brian and Denise, several issues were raised tonight pertaining to the Latino community, including health care, economic security, and immigration. Take a listen. My proposals are to will create over four and a half million good paying union jobs a year. I'd cut taxes by 10% for everyone who makes less than 250,000 bucks. And we'd have a completely different investment into the American people so that, in fact, we grow together. We need to protect the border. We need to do that in a way that does not build walls, that does not separate us uh, from our neighbors. Uh, and I think using modern technology, uh, having sufficient manpower uh, to do the job will do it. Delivering a message of the nation's oldest and largest Latino civil rights organization, the League of United Latin American Citizens, hosted tonight's presidential town hall. Among the candidates who were there, Senator Bernie Sanders, Tom Steyer, former Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and Senator Amy Klobuchar. What I am proposing is that we create, I call it Medicare for all who want it, a public plan. Anybody can be part of it. But we're going to let you decide whether you want it. I'm thinking, for example, of the culinary workers here in Nevada who fought so hard. I truly believe that uh, what unites us is bigger than what divides us. I believe that we need to lead a coalition, uh, and I can uniquely do this because I've won with Republicans and independents in my own state. Tonight's town hall meeting gave the community an opportunity to hear directly from the candidates in an effort to boost the Latino turnout here in Nevada. Now, according to the, to the League of United Latin American Citizens, there are nearly half a million eligible Hispanic voters right here in the Silver State.